On August 19th, 2021, John Doyle posted on his YouTube channel a video titled, Why the Left? Fears White Boy Summer. What does that mean? I had no idea, so I watched it. This summer is White Boy Summer. It is a lifestyle. It is a metaphysical reality. We're skateboarding. We're causing mischief. We're getting yelled at by authority figures. We're punching drywall. We're gaslighting women. We're jumping into lakes. This is our summer. You can't just declare it to be White Boy Summer. I just did. And I'm gonna go climb something that I'm not supposed to be climbing. This is our summer. We're embracing our identities. We're having fun. And we're offending everyone in our paths. The people who hate us don't like it when we're having fun because they are legitimately miserable and insecure people. So basically you guys might know hot girl summer summer for hot girls you sleep around you know act like thoughts women's empowerment sort of thing white boy summer is kind of like that however it's about two things firstly just being white boys and having fun with it and secondly post about how much fun you're having to uh troll the depressed and degenerate libs have fun as a political strategy so Count me in. Later in the video, John provided a list of things for white boy summer. And for legal reasons, I'm not telling you to do any of these things. I'm simply educating you on what the checklist is. I did not make this checklist. So then I gathered my friends and we decided to try and knock it all out in one day. So we called the boys over. We stayed the night to prepare for white boy summer, the day. So the day started off early. On your 16th birthday. <laughs> so you girl, you girl, get your the birthday, girl. <laughs> we all got ready early in the morning and prepared to go to the nearest 7-Eleven so we could get some black coffee so we could then fulfill our first objective. To watch the sunrise, you arrive 30 minutes prior with a black coffee and then just enjoy God's creation. Get my good side. <laughs> hey, you can see the, the clouds. Oh, and oh the yeah, there you go. Thing has died. <laughs> You're kidding. Get, the get out the way, yo. Get the way, yo. This camera just got dropped. <laughs> John Doyle was saying, you know, enjoy God's creation. And we look around and we see just man's creation. <laughs> man's just, it's shit. <laughs> the shit that man has put upon this earth. Three, two, one. I already started. I'm gonna start crying. It's beautiful. Hi, damn it. Ah, I lost. Ah. Stupid blue eyes. I can't. Zach won. Get out the way, yo! Get, Get out, out the way, way yo! Zach is right, this is just a drum! <laughs> Alright, what, what do we say? What do we say? Cocaina! No! <laughs> <laughs> yes, we watched on top of a parking structure. We woke up a little late and weren't able to drive to the destination that we had planned for. So we made it to the parking lot and went to the top floor. But you know, it all worked out because right next up on the list was... Skate down an entire parking structure. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Good. <laughs> 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 actually licked it. What are we saying? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> Science that every time. Now we get to the third thing in the list. Climb something that's not meant to be climbed. This was a bit of a disappointment at first. Uh, the Saturday that we did this on was 9-11. That was not planned. So we had planned to do it earlier. Stuff got in the way. So we just said, oh, we'll do it next week. Turns out the next week was 9-11. Regardless, our original plan was to go climb a building that wasn't yet finished. All the scaffolding was still up. And since it was a Saturday and 9-11, we were expecting all job sites to be clear of workers. Sadly, though, when we did go there, even though it was 9-11 and a Saturday, there were still active workers on the job site. Too many workers. You can't see him. <laughs> Scouting the site. Thankfully though, there was another place that we had in mind kind of as a backup. It's an abandoned strip mall in the area. It's been closed down for pretty much as long as I can remember. And there's just a large fence around it. And the building itself is completely abandoned. Now we just had to get on top of it. It's done. This is kind of just trespassing, but it counts. Or it should. Once we get to the top. Alright, boys. Yes, sir. Oh. That's just the word of the day. What's the word of the day? Scuffed. Oh, Nazi. <laughs> Insert clip of Joe Biden saying Nazi. Nazi fags. In the far right corner of this building, the roof had collapsed, it seemed. It was a completely open space. I guess this is an abandoned construction site because there was construction equipment there, including a 20 foot tall extension ladder, which then we used to prop up against the wall so we could climb onto the roof through the hole that was already there. First of all, but I trust myself more than I trust others. Well, yeah, I, mean, I can stand on the edge of something that's stupid high and I don't care, but if I see someone else do it, I will have a panic attack. All right, be careful because the ceiling's also shaky wakey. about that boys we got one check another one checked off I'm feeling good dude nice The next item on this white boy summer list was a little strange. Read a book that would probably alarm your family members. So just that as an objective is a bit confusing. So we went to the nearest Barnes and Noble and looked around for alarming books and there we found cheeky there we found it. <laughs> head to toe memoir I could not read for a second. Oh my god <laughs> yeah, look at it. It's kind of cheeky. Like a, a, a woman's hygiene book, but like for liberals, aka no hygiene. Let's get cheeky. What the hell is this? Dude, I can almost smell her. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Nasty. Yeah, I should, like, I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, I actually did. Right? Kind of beautiful. I dug the hell out of that. <laughs> really weird, definitely alarming. So of course, uh, I took a picture of all of us reading it and then I sent it to my mom. Uh, so I have my mom under Obama. Uh, just don't ask questions. Anyway. Yo, check this out. They it's a success. A it's a success. Yo, Miles. And just like I had been doing with all the previous objectives. Once I completed it, I also posted a picture or a video on my Instagram story. Follow me on Instagram, by the way. So, John Doyle, whoa, 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 whoa. shout out to you. I'm putting it on my story, every single thing that I've done today. And uh, he's reposted it on his uh, Instagram, so thanks for that. Thanks, John. So, we had completed that. Next on the list, we have number... Hello? Y yeah. Y yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Are we 
we just finished our um, book one. Find a book that will astonish your parents. And the man himself, John Doyle, DM'd. He responded to my story and said, find Mein Kampf, I dare you. It's gonna be good. Bet. <laughs> We were not done. So John Doyle himself had reached out to me. He revised that objective. And instead of just any book to alarm our parents, he had a specific book in mind that he wanted us to find. Mein Kampf by Hitler. Yeah, that'll do the trick of uh, alarming my family. <laughs> so we went back to the bookstore and looked around. We could not find it. So we were gonna ask the workers if they had it there, but it would have been kind of weird for four white boys to just walk up and ask for the Hitler book. So uh, we had Zach do it because he's the darkest out of all of us. But even after that, they didn't have it. So we packed up and we went to the nearest library. We looked around, had Zach asked there, nothing. However, since it is a library, they're connected to the library system. So we asked them what library did have it. And they told us that there was a library that had it. However, it was about an hour away driving. So we went to another Barnes and Noble, hoping that they would have the book, but sadly they didn't have it either. So we had to start the long drive. After a very long crusade, we had finally done it. We found Hitler's book. You're right. It's here. <laughs> oh, wait. Here it is. Oh, we got her book. So we took a picture. I sent it to my mom, put it on my Instagram story, and uh, we headed back. Next up on the list. Board a boat for at least an hour. Be on board a boat for at least an hour. So in case you didn't know, I'm in California and I'm not close to any lakes. I'm not in Tahoe or anything. What I am close to is the ocean and the bay, but I don't have any kind of experience on boats to board an actual boat on the actual ocean. My plan was to rent some paddle boats because you know, they're still boats. That would count, right? But apparently in California, it takes a little more than I thought to rent a paddle boat. So we couldn't. <laughs> I didn't have a backup for this. This was the backup, I guess. They're paddle boats. What am I supposed to do as a backup for paddle boats? We were completely at a loss. We were sitting in a parking lot trying to figure this out. Were we gonna have to call the whole thing off? We're like, what were we gonna do? <laughs> Thankfully though, it was time for a guest appearance. Matt came in clutch, everybody. So he had an old boat that was just sitting in his backyard and he was pretty close to like a lake. I don't know if it's a lake. I don't, I don't know what the hell it's called, but it's water and he was close to it. So we drove to his house, grabbed his boat. The only issue was getting the boat to the water. He didn't have a way to connect it to a car. So we had to pull it by hand for a 30 minute walk, just hauling this little boat and we set off. The next two objectives kind of go hand in hand. Ask a black person what they think about transgender people. Um, ask an old person what they think about transgender people. So, let's get to it. What are your opinions on transgender people? Uh, my opinion right now, um, just to be fair, I think everybody should be treat, you know, treated equal. 
Um, you know, you really can't tell nobody how to think or how to feel, you know, so I'll, I'll just say, um, you know, accept them as emotions, you mm -hmm. know, uh, treat them carefully, you know what I mean? So, All right. That's what I would Yeah, say. thank you very much. Well, thank you. Nice. What are your opinions on transgender people? Yeah, it doesn't bug me. No, I don't mind. Don't, you don't mind? What? You don't mind? I don't mind, no. All right, thank, thank you very you. much. Right, um, he's transgender. He's a turned it. She, she's turned into a boy. Oh, okay. So I love what she is. I love what he is. You know, I don't mind. All right. Thank you very much. Thank That's it. Welcome. Have a nice day. Next up on the list, I'm get kicked out of a retail establishment. This one was simple enough, but Nornis is not a good cameraman. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to explain most of it. Our plan was to go into a Walgreens and fake a fight. Me and my brother were gonna go in first, followed then by Zach and Nornis, being two separate groups. We were then going to meet somewhere in the middle. Jordan and Zach were gonna start an argument that would eventually get physical, very loud, a lot of cursing. We were trying to be annoying. For you, dad. Thanks for the blow your money. <laughs> What are you talking? Shut up. Dude, it was a joke. Dude, it was a joke. Hey. Yeah, it's a problem. What are you talking about? You're the, dude, you're the one who touched me first. You idiot, dude. Hey, 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 hey. Yo, 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 yo
But I would still encourage you guys who are feeling lonely or just longing for a sense of camaraderie to get some of your friends together and have a white boy summer of your own in a day, if you can. <laughs> I would be genuinely surprised if you didn't feel better by the end of such a silly and stupid day. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta let loose and just kinda be a bit of a menace for a day. What can I say? Plus, it makes the libs angry. <laughs> John did also say that we're out here taking over the calendar, so... White boy summer all year round, am I right? Thank you, John Doyle, and thank you to everyone who's watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, like I said, give it a shot, guys. Alright. Adios.